Let's check out Versailles. So the trains are a pinch confusing when you have not done them before. But now that I know what to expect, it is pretty straightforward. You just have to be a little careful with your directions and I'll explain that later. So the train ride was about 40 minutes. This is the train station at Versailles. And from here, it's about a 10 minute walk max to get up to the front doors. It's really close. You do go through a little security entrance right here. They're just checking bags. And then you are greeted with this magnificent palace. It is, it is amazing. Words cannot describe. This was the line at about 8.30ish. We got here about a half hour early. We got the first ticketed time slot, which is something I highly recommend if you are wanting to get photos of yourself in the Hall of Mirrors. This is the walkthrough to get to the Hall of Mirrors, and it is just stunning. Now, keep in mind, you can actually visit the gardens at Versailles, for free but to get into the palace right now they are slotted timed tickets make sure you check out the link below because with the new eu passes coming out they're going to be requiring passes or negative covid tests to get in this is actually marie antoinette's quarters they are beautiful i mean it was mind-blowing to be in this room olivia could not believe what this palace was like she just loved it so after we went through here, we did end up doing a little snack time. They have an Angelina's here at Versailles. There's two versions. There's actually a lunch version, and then there's just the little bakery snack version, which is what we ended up doing just to get off our feet for a minute. And then we headed outside. There's so many things you can do outside. I don't think you really realize how big this palace and the grounds are. There's honestly no real way to do every single square inch of this property in one day you kind of have to pick and choose what you want to do we did end up renting a golf cart because somebody in our party kind of had some mobility issues so it was an easier way to see the majority of the property but the gardens are stunning they do host separate garden shows so if that's something you're wanting to see with the fountains alive and awake at night um, you will have to book that ticket separately Another great feature about Versailles is kids 18 and under are free. This place is so beautiful. Nothing does it justice. Make sure you check out my review. I'm going to talk about handicap accessibility here. Tips for getting some of these amazing photos. I just be ready for this post. So this is where you pick up the golf carts and then we are on our way. So the golf carts are actually on a system that if you deviate from the map that they give you, the cart won't move. So um, they don't go super fast. This is about the fastest you're going to see. But this property is amazing. There's also a trolley you could take. I was really blown away and didn't even realize that they had multiple beautiful brass fountains as well as the Grand Canal which you can actually run a boat on. You're going to see that here shortly. There's multiple restaurants. Like I said, you can come into the gardens for free. There are restaurants in the gardens. There's some in the palace. There's, I think, one over by train on. Here's those boat rentals that I was talking about earlier. I mean, you could spend days at this palace. You know, I don't think you really realize how big this place is until you get on the car. Oh my God. I highly recommend a trip to Versailles. It is so memorable, but get there early and pick your time slot. It is worth the visit. And right now is the best time to go because it's going to feel like you have parts of it to yourself. So one of the things that I noticed is if you're like me and wanting photos with just yourself, not a ton of people, because let's be honest, you can only Photoshop so much, you're going to need to decide what's important to you do you want pictures outside or inside pick one or the other 